What is it like to move? Oh, it, it just, it sucks. Moving sucks, especially when you're single. It's like, there's no help. You're just kind of like doing it. Anyway, the thing that I realized the most, and I already knew this, but I figured, oh, I'm going to throw a bunch of stuff away. I already threw away a bunch of stuff, and I still have more stuff. Like, it just comes out of nowhere. I have so, like, this is probably the 30th <laughs> contractor bag full of crap. The studio is pretty much, like, this is, I'm saving this for last. Actually, I'm probably bringing this first, but I'm saving this for last. Like, everything's taken down. I still use my computer, you know what I mean? Do some browsing, Pornhub. Oh, I'm just kidding. Am I? No, I am. There's Storm. She's hanging out. But I have, like, everything is done. Like, the bathroom. I don't want to go in there. It's all dirty and nasty. But everything's pretty much done. But I still have, like, everything. I, I still have, um... I asked them to get me in the house early. But in order to do that, I have to pay the rest of the money. And I only owe 1800 more to move in, which is... Nothing. I don't have time to do that today, so I'm going to try to get it done tomorrow. No, I think it's Tuesday or Wednesday. I don't even know what day it is. But I'm at, I'm off this weekend. They're shutting down production. They're shutting down production for work. So I'm off this weekend, which is great because if I wasn't off, then I don't know how I'd get anything done. But, yeah, it's the thing about moving – that most people always do, and, like, I've moved friends before, and they're like, hey, yeah, come over and help me move. <laughs> I'm like, sure, you know, I'll come on over. And, like, nothing is packed. Nothing is in boxes. I'm like, oh, do you have boxes? They're like, oh, let's go to U-Haul and get them. I'm like, wait, you didn't already do this? So, like, Storm's agitated. Look at her. She's like, let's go, dude. I want the new house. So yeah, like I know everything, like everything's already, like the kitchen is in the kitchen, you know, and then I, I pretty much threw away the food and I saved like things that last, I don't know, I don't have a lot of food. I threw everything out that was Ooh. close to getting bad and I knew I wasn't going to cook. I have some meat like uh, in there and stuff that I didn't, I'm probably just going to, oh, yeah, I'll probably cook it. It's just, it's just ground beef. Uh, I usually, like, my diet right now is to gain weight in the winter, so I'm pretty much on just ground beef and rice. Tacos, chicken and rice, stuff like that. I don't really get crazy into, like, diet, you know? It's just pretty much meat and rice. It's, you know, that's what works for me, so. And uh, my shake. But, like, yeah, if you're going to move, if you're moving, I think the most important thing is to, like, do it weeks and weeks before like I started packing two weeks ago and now I'm getting close to October 1st and like some my mom's husband wants this table that I don't know if I talk about this in the other video or not but the uh open floor plan in this new house so it's like you walk in and it's all open all the way back to the kitchen and then the upstairs is the three bed I said mama dog I'm making a video okay are you rude She's so rude. She's so rude. Go get your toy. Um, but yeah, I said in the other video that it was a two-bedroom. It's a th it's actually a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bathroom, um, and a basement, a yard, and all that stuff. But anyway, when you walk in, imagine, you walk in, and it's all open, and you have a big rectangle, and then another rectangle in there. It just don't work. So I got this circle table that's pretty badass, and I know how to do, I'm an artist, some of you probably already know this by my artwork that you've probably seen or haven't, I don't know, I have a couple of things that are okay. Funny story, yesterday I was cleaning up, and this is a painting I did that's a three-piece painting, right, and it's like nuclear wasteland or something, I don't know, but I put a hole in it. With the chair. So I have to repair that and repaint that little section. Not a big deal. I can do that. Canvas. I used to work in an art store. So I can do like little canvas stuff. Um. Anyway. I worked for an art store for 
probably four hours. <laughs> but I actually don't know if I learned at their art school. Anyway. Um, so yeah, that table is out of here. I don't like it. I mean, the leg is loose. I can fix the leg. The problem is it's like the wedge right here, the little thing. See how it's busted? I need to just put a new one of those. I don't have, I don't feel like doing that shit. So I'm gonna use this table because that one's gonna look a lot better in there, in a square house. You put a circle table and I want the kitchen to look like farmhouse look. So I'm gonna paint this. I'll show you guys how to do it. I'll do a video. Um, I'll paint it white and then sand it and make it like farm chippy looking. You'll see. Anyway, moving sticks. Moving really sucks. But I, I guess I don't have too much stuff. Like I have a dog who, <laughs> she digs blankets for life. Look at her. You know, you, everyone's watching. Anyway, so I wanted to make a video because I've been bored of not making videos and it sucks. Like I hate it. I hate it. I have to, I have to make videos for you guys and it's driving me crazy. And, and it, what's funny about it is the dog just won't shut up. But what's funny is I'll do a video on my camera and I'll edit it and I'll get no freaking views. And I'll do a video like this on my phone and just upload it and it takes off. So it's like... I don't know. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. You guys like the, uh, I think, I think you guys like the net, um, I guess it seems like when you edit a video, it seems fake or like set up. None of my videos are ever scripted. I think everybody knows I do all freestyle videos. I don't like write a script. I don't, even my podcasts are not scripted. Believe it or not, I actually talk for one hour basically and <laughs> like I, I just, I edit out the parts where I'm like, oh, what was I going to say? But like other than that, it's just me talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. But anyway, I really cannot wait to get out of here because I hate carpet for one. This carpet has always been Whoa. disgusting. I'm not even going to show you how many. It's just gross. And I just never like carpet. The new house does not have carpet except for the upstairs. She did not ruin a carpet. Like let alone like she, when she was a puppy, she had her share of accidents. But I had the carpet cleaned like four times. Their stains are they just won't come out. And um, they were here before I moved in too. The oh, I'm gonna replace the carpet. Blah blah blah. He never did. He sold the house. Now this dude, new guy just came and kicked me out, which turns out to be a blessing in disguise. And I should reverse that a little bit. He actually didn't kick me out. He's just not renewing the lease. And uh, that's fair. He's allowed to do that. He wants to move in here. Great dude, move into this place. Here you go. I would have never. He probably spent. I'm just going to take a wild guess for both upstairs and downstairs. I'm going to take a wild guess at 190, 180,000. Easy. Right? Because this neighborhood, it's a good neighborhood. It's not like. Like where I'm moving. So I'm moving to an area called Port Richmond in Philadelphia. And it's not. It's a good area. And it's. Upscale, right? More or less. But a block or two down is Kensington. And Kensington sucks. Like, you... Okay, like, you want to go to dope land where people are shooting themselves needles in the arm and, like, shit like that and see people dead on the side of the road because they're overdosing? That's what Kensington is. Like, that shit is fucking real. Like, that shit that you see on TV about people in Kensington and Philadelphia. If you think that shit is fake, I can promise you it's not. Like, I go to work every day and I see it every single day. I see somebody, like, shooting up or fucking overdosing or, like, you know, people trying to fucking pump. Like, the one day I was driving to work at 6 in the morning. No, it was a little before 6. It was when I still had the body shop at Coke. Now I'm um, an engineer at in the production part, I don't, I'm not in the body shop anymore. Most of you know. So, but when I was in the body shop, we had to go and change all the stickers for every fucking truck because uh, a pirate company took over Coca Cola and took over Philly Coke, and they changed the name. So we had to change the name on the trucks. And I had to come in like three or four in the morning because that's when all the trucks were there. I think it was a Sunday morning and uh, double time. <clears throat> 
you know, um, 8.30 Union. So anyways, yeah, fucking... <laughs> Oh, this isn't funny. Wait, I thought I was telling a joke. I'm not. So I was driving to work at 4.30 in the morning or 5. Or I don't fucking know. It was early. And um, there was this guy who was dead. Like, he just died. And his friends are, like, trying to pump him up and shit. So me, uh, um, I had... So I used to drive for Uber, right? And I've been through twice, twice somebody ODing in my car. So that's why I fucking stopped doing Uber. One time, I picked the girl up. She actually didn't overdose in my car. She overdosed outside of my car and literally fell into it. Like, she tried to open the door and just, doof, like, right into my car. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? And then, like, overdosed. So I carried Narcan in my car. That time, I didn't know how to do it right. I did it. Something was fucked up with it, and it, it wasted the bottle, and I still kept it in my car. And, um, the other time, that was the only one. I think I only had one Narcan. I got it some free clinic you went to and you learned how to do it, right? Because, because the, I think at first time I didn't have it. And, um, the ambulance came and saved this fucking guy. We like pulled him out of the car. It was so fucking crazy. Like I'll never again Uber. So, um, yeah. That, imagine like if I set up, cause so like the original, a lot of you don't know this, the original, idea I had for YouTube was to do Uber, am I not looking at the lens, sorry, whatever, um, was to do Uber, like, YouTube, and, uh, yeah, I don't know, it just never felt through, I just didn't give a fuck, I was living at my mom's and shit, like, I didn't care, so, and I was, like, also, like, 32 years old, I just felt like such a fucking loser, I already owned houses before and lived on my own for years, I just was going through a tough time and I had to save up money. And that's when I got this place, and then I started the YouTube channel, and then now we are here with almost 5,000 subscribers, which is shit. I know it's like a fucking, it's, oh my god, 5,000. Like, to me, it's like, no, no. Call me at 100,000, because YouTubers nowadays, it's like they're getting 100,000 in a fucking month. So, like, look at Best Damn EDC. He started his channel, and I know he already had established whatever. But dude's got like 90,000 subscribers in less than a year. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong, but anyway. Maybe it's just like, nah, fuck you kid from Philly, you can't do shit. <laughs> um, so what time is it though? Because I do have to go to work. Okay, yeah. It's, I have time. Um, so this dude was overdosing and shit and uh, his, I got out of the car. I had my trauma kit. And I always ha I always carry it, and I checked for Narcan. I didn't have it, um, but he was dead. I checked his pulse. Put gloves on because um, I did have time to do that. I checked his pulse. He was dead, and I just was like to, to his buddies, and I was like, "Dude, I was like, we called the ambulance. They were at another call down the street, so they couldn't get there right away. They're like, we'll be there as soon as we're done dealing with this person who's dealing, who's dead too, dying." Um, so it's a sad fucking situation out there, and I'm not far from it. This is this area is very far from it. Where I'm moving is very close to it, but they don't really travel to Port Richmond. The police district is different. It's different. The cops see that shit. They're like, yo, get the fuck out of here. Go the other way. Whatever. Can't be around here. And the neighborhood's nice. It's like old Polish neighborhood from what I understand. I don't know about it. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty good on my Philly neighborhood. Anyway. Um, that's what it used to be though. It's like old Polish neighborhood. That's just how it was back then. Now I'm probably a lot of old timers out there still like that, but Italian markets and uh, shit like that. There's a real good pierogi place. It's just, it's a cool little area. It's not old city. It's not, um, with the fuck fish town. And it's just, uh, it's, it's nice. It's a nice little area. It's anyway really close to work which is super important for the channel for the dog for just everything i'm trying to do with working the hours i'm working it sucks to have to leave work at for work i have to leave at 1 15 to get to work at two o'clock i mean that sucks i don't want to do that i want to leave at 1 50. you know what i mean so that's what that's what the deal is but anyway uh so going back to that story with that dude he um i put him on his side because they were like trying to like i'm like yeah you got to put him on his side because he in case he throws up he's choking on his own uh vomit um blocks the airway and all that stuff so 
it's a it's a very real situation out there. So anyway, I just don't know why I threw that out there. I just I feel like people always think, oh, that shit's just you know they go to one street in Philly and it's just they make it seem like that's all of what Kensington like. Yeah, that's what Kensington is like. It's really like that. Every block, every street. Every, there's not a good street in Kensington. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. It's disgusting. The people are assholes. The traffic is horrible. There's always like big potholes and shit. And it's like, why would you want to move there, Will? Well, it's. So I'm probably only gonna do it. Like I think I'm only gonna do it for a year. I don't. This is only one year lease. We're gonna see how it goes, right? Um, it's the, the most important thing for me is getting being closer to work and establishing this channel more and oh the whole fucking reason why i wanted to say this and i'm we're running out of time but real quick the podcast so the podcast is being rebranded right the hard city raindrops podcast is 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 one thing and i'm not sure if i'm just going to change the name or make a new podcast yet i'm probably just going to change the name because i don't <laughs> feel like making a new podcast but um uh, Dummies Are Masterminds is the new podcast <laughs> name. So Dummies Are Masterminds is is basically – so what, I, what I'm trying to do is talk about on the podcast and not like just one subject all the time but interesting subjects and interesting people who are fucking stupid but also really smart. And we're going to just make it in a funny, fun way and challenge our brains and do that kind of shit. Science, science fiction, anything you guys have that in the comments put what you want to hear about um, that is kind of like dumb but also smart at the same time. You get my drift. I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. Uh, I've been taking like brainstorming about it um, and, and that's going to release mid-October. So you won't see a, a podcast episode probably until then. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to make just a whole new fucking podcast or just kind of add it to the one that's already existing and just change the name. I think that's just easier, and I know it's like goes against everything that podcasters do. Oh, you got to do it like this. You have to, you have to make a new one, uh, a new, a new e fucking web address. And no, 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 I don't have to do shit. I don't too fucking. I don't care about doing that shit. I'm just gonna change the fucking name and do what I want to do because it's mine and that's what I do. So like, right? Um, sure. If I was already famous. Like, or something. I don't fucking know. Like, you see all these podcasts anymore, and it's always people like, oh, the podcast I listen to. I'm like, oh, who is it? Ron Burgundy. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Ron Burgundy? Who, who, why does he have a podcast? It isn't being a movie star enough? Like, stay in your fucking lane, Ron Burgundy. And it's not even funny, to be honest with you. I think I'm funnier than Ron Burgundy. I can do funny, stupid news. Anyway, you guys. It's time to jet. I gotta get back to uh, taking care of my very agitated animal. She's just, she's hilarious. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys learned something. <laughs> you learned nothing from this video. I hope you guys like, share, subscribe because that's what's important. Teamwork. So anyways, <laughs> what am I talking about? Uh, I'm just gonna go. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.